Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. We've got a big pile of stone on us at the moment. And what I wanted to do today was to build a load of gravestones so that we could improve the quality of the graveyard by a substantial amount. I am just going to wander down here first to make sure that we've got carrots. Yes, we do. We've got carrots in there. So we will be able to deal with that. We've got three body capacity down there, but we'll be able to deal with bodies as they come in. Um, I'll stick a couple on the pallets, and but most of all what we want to do is work on the gravestones and try and make a few. Just see what we can do. Although, I was looking at the technologies and at the, the end of last week, or the, the, the end of my last like recording session. Um, where was it? It's under, it's not under smithing though, is it? No, it's, it is, un no, it's not a building either, it's under theology. Oh, I've already done it. I did get those. We got the carved gravestones right there. Well, plus, we've got these and the cremation bit, and we'll worry about that bit later. So, yes, we want to make these right here. Now, I can make gravestones there, and I can make stone grave fence. Um, oh, stone cutter two. I want a stone cutter two in order to be able to make the next level up. And I don't have the stone. That was what the, that's what we got hung up on. That was the bit that, yes, is right there. I need 150 red, and we're on 77 red. I knew there was something that I'd gotten sort of, um, sort of hung up on that I wasn't able to properly complete. So if we come over this way now, I can make... Uh, I'll make some more wooden billets, actually. I think we'll turn all of these into wooden billets. So then we've got a load for down the bottom for cremations. Because uh, we are going to be doing several cremations. Plus, we also get some red points for this, which is always good. It's got a nice, pleasant ring to it. There's three each time. Okay, that's pretty good. We're up to 89 so far. So there's a load more wooden billets. We'll get some more. We'll chop down a few more trees very soon and get those underway. Let's just bring this down here. So we've got two, uh, one here at the moment. Um, we've got a potential storage place here that we can put in place for burning corpses it's only um it needs eight it needs eight billets so what i want to do is i want to head back up this way and get the rest we've got some billets in storage we may have flitches we may have some other bits and we can build a chest down there It'd be quite handy to have a chest ah there right we've got another 12 of them that makes 24 so we can build three more of those things I don't have any more of these parts, and flitches, I don't have flitches either. I can leave the sticks behind, and I am going to also take and put down here the crop residues, which I don't want to be carrying around, as well as the carrots. And that's going to give us a little bit more space. There we go. Uh, well, I do have some... Let's, I could take those... Well, we've got plenty of peat compost, so the compost doesn't matter. We've got loads of that. Um... So it's just the flitches that I want now. I'm going to leave that tree there. But we will remove these here. Get them out of the way. Um, I'll take a, take a few of these up. Hmm. If I do... Okay, let, let's just dump that one down there. There we go. Now I can dig this one out. That's what I wanted. Right, now grab you. And then push these up like this. That's close enough. I can just do it like that. There we go. Grab that one. Do this the old-fashioned way, one at a time. And I can bring that one down. Oops, steady. There we go. And uh, put that one up in as well. Okay, so now I can make... Well, I only need the six switches. So I'll make one lot of them. And then I'll make some planks, because we always need wooden planks. Although, two more lots of these, that's not going to hurt either. Because we're going to want a load of those. I can, I, I can put them in the chest that we're going to build down the bottom. Let me go and get that body a minute, and we'll put that one... I'm just going to leave that one in storage for a minute, actually. And then once we put that one in storage, we can go and deal with some more. He's taken five carrots, so we're going to have to just be careful of that. You run this one over and take you, and then put. So these bodies. See, that's a very poor quality body anyway. So we'll harvest that one completely. We'll take everything out of that body and um, when we want to deal with it. We're not going to right now, but we will do. Oh, no, I want to go this way. You know what? I think I'm going to go back to bed. I'm, first of all, before I go back to bed, let me just cut down another one of these. Then we'll go back to bed. Um, and then we, we can go and do a, a few more bits. Right. Uh, 
yeah. All right. Let's let's just push this up here. So, something I wanted to talk to you about was how long we keep doing this series. Fairly soon, as many of you probably know, Farming Simulator 19 is going to be coming out. In the run-up to that, I'm going to start doing some more episodes of Farming Simulator 17. So, I've got to remove one of my other series in order to be able to make way for it. I've got a straight choice between this one and Conan Exiles. Alright, these are the two that get the least number of views, apart from the World of Warcraft one. And I don't want to get rid of World of Warcraft because I really love playing that game. And that's got more longevity than this one and Conan Exiles. Um... Although, this one or Conan, whichever one I do decide to put on hold in September, I will definitely be coming back to because it's a game that I really, really enjoy playing. So, I don't mind sort of taking a break from this one for two or three months and then coming back to it. And, um, you know, sort of seeing what we've got then in the future. Some of you may not necessarily be happy about this. Some of you may think that I shouldn't be taking a break from this one or, from, you know, from the other one and I should get rid of uh, World of Warcraft. Um, it's all to do with how much material there is in the game to play as well as the number of views. And I know that World of Warcraft doesn't get quite as many as these, but there's not a lot in it. You've got to be honest, you look at the view counts for these three, ep uh, these three series that I'm running, um, there isn't a lot in it, okay? Um, it, it's really down to... I play these three games because I enjoy them rather than for the view counts. And that's, that's basically what we're looking at. Because the numbers in it are, are so marginal as to be, you know, it, it doesn't really make much difference. So i got to pick one to drop for a while. And I, I, I don't know. It'll either be this one or the Conan one. And I get the impression a lot of people that watch this series also watch the Conan one. So um, I would like to hear your views on this. You know, do you think that I should get rid of this one or the Conan one, basically? Which which one do you think I should be taking a break from? And it could it could be any of them. Um, it, it well either it could be either of them. Whichever one I do take the break from, when I go back to doing uh, Farming Simulator a little bit less, or I stop doing one of the other games, I'll come back to one of these. And I'm really loving this game. I'd like to play this game all the way through. I want to, like, go... We've, we've got so much more still to do in this game. Conan... I really love that game as well. It's a lot more open-ended. There's, there's so much stuff still to explore in that game. There is a huge amount of stuff for me to explore in that game. That we haven't... We've not even begun to scratch the surface of that one. There is an absolutely massive amount of stuff that we'll be able to do in there. Uh, build all the different things that we can build and unlock and different things that we can see and do and, and so on and so forth. So I would like some opinions. Which one at the end of the month? We've got, we got a month yet. It's only it's literally the very beginning of September at the moment. So we, we've got a month. But which one do you think you personally, I sh you know, do you think I should be taking a break from? starting at the end of the month this one or conan exiles and i'd like some honest opinions i'd like your feedback give me some detailed explanations if you want just say you know name one or the other i, I really don't mind but the plan is to make way for a second series of farming simulator and it does make sense that i'd be doing that because we are very close to the point where the new farming simulator game is going to be coming out and that is one of the biggest, like, attractions on my channel is um, playing Farming Simulator. So it kind of makes sense that I would be ramping up the amount of material that I'm doing on that one. And um, that's just something that's going to happen. And I know that it's not going to be to everybody's taste. But unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Right, let's go into here. And this time, I'm going to make a load of planks. I think we could do with a load of these. So we'll make seven lots of these. There's 21 wooden planks. That's going to be able to... It's going to allow us to make a whole load of different stuff. And we get... Uh, well, there's two there. And then... Two more. Okay, so we get two for each one of these. Let's go and get some sleep. The merchant is there at the moment. Once we've had some sleep, we'll work through a bit more. And we get some more energy. So we're up to 100. We need 150. And there is another body. I'm actually going to jump out of bed right now. Just before it gets completely dark. And I'm going to go and get that other body. Put that one away. I'll tell you what. On the way down there, let's go and grab some carrots. And these are ready to harvest. So we'll grab these carrots as well. And grab you. There we go. Right, I've got 
six carrot seeds. I've got enough to be able to plant one lot of carrot seeds. We're going to have to go and see the farmer again and buy a load more. I'm going to buy a lot. Although I've got to make sure I stay above ten silver. Because otherwise we're going to end up really struggling. Carrots. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Um, yeah, if I drop below 10 silver, I'm not going to be able to get a whetstone for my tools and that's going to end up causing us some problems. Right. It does look like it pretty much stops the decay. Now, this one here is a six skull. It's got three reds and we can't remove three reds. Not at the moment. Not unless we start doing the embalming. But this seems okay at the moment. The other, the five quality one, that one will end up uh, cremating that one, I think. So we'll leave those there, and then we can head back this way, and now what do I, Oh, I want to carry on doing this. Let's do a bit more on that. I'll do just one of those. You know, I may as well use up all the energy. It's using up fairly fast. There. Now if we go back to bed, get a little bit more rest, then we can go and... I still, I don't need to worry about the carrots at the moment, because i got loads and loads of those. So we, we can leave going to see the farmer for quite a few days. We'll work on this. I'm just wondering what the best way for me to go and get a load more red XP is. What's, what's, what is going to be like the quickest way to do this? I mean, I can make some more stuff at the anvil. Make a few more bits there. And I could go and harvest some more trees. I mean, if I come into here, we've got simple iron part. I'm going to do... I'll do five lots of these. And I'll put them into... I'll just stick them into the chest over there in a minute. So what do we get there? We got uh, one? Really? Okay, I feel a bit put out by that because there's a lot of work that's going into making these and a lot of energy as well. And I'm getting one. A bit poor, that is. That's a bit poor. All right, let's do five of these. Actually, I'm going to do six. So we got loads of these, but that's also going to leave us a few of the other bits as well. Right, take that. There's... Oh, oh I've got three for that. That's, that's a lot more like it. Now, I'm going to take that out. Oh, no. I was going to just take... Uh, all right, never mind. Um, cancel that. And we've got 20 bread. I'm going to start munching on bread and to get a load of energy. And then we can stay awake during the day. Oh, no, I'm going to go over to here. And we can work through it. So there's going to be 150. And then that's going to allow us to unlock the, um, the second or uh, stone cutter. Stonecutter 2, the Stonecutter Mark 2. If we can get Stonecutter Mark 2, that means that we'll then be able to go and make the bigger and better gravestones. we got 15 now. 15 to go, and then we can unlock the one that I want. So we leave those 18, that makes 25 of them. 20 of them, and we'll leave that as well. We'll leave those sticks behind. We've got 22 planks in there. That is most excellent. Ceramic jug. I'm going to take the... Actually, I don't need to take the ceramic jugs out, I don't think. I think you put them in here, and we go to this one. There we go, ceramic... Oh. Ceramic bowls. Ceramic jugs. Oh, you turn the ceramic bowls into ceramic jugs. And then we take white powder, craft at the alchemy mill, and ceramic jug, and we make porcelain pitchers. Those are for something else. All right, let's ignore that then. And we go back to here. I, I did pick them up, didn't I? Yeah. Right. So if we go and get some sand from the river... We could use the sand from the river to make, just drop that off, um, make a load of glass. And that's going to be quite handy being able to make a load of glass. Now, there was some, uh, where do we make the polishing paste? Is that one on here? No, the ceramic bowls that we make there. And then you put the ceramic bowls in and that makes these. But we can also make some glass here um, with the water and... I think... Where did we make... Pol no, not on the grindstone. Polishing paste is on here, isn't it? Uh, you need oil there, and a ceramic bowl, and a river sand, and that makes a polishing paste, which you can then use to make the uh, polished stones. But you can also use the chisel to make the polished stones. So that one, we don't need to worry about too much. Yeah, sand. We, we, we will we'll run over here and get grab some sand a minute. Ah, there's a body just turned up. Literally, I was just about to get to the river, and the body turned up all the way back over here. The bell went and everything. Let's run back down this way. And I'm going to have to deal with one of these bodies. Because we got three in here. One of them we're going to have to have a look at and deal with. 
So I know that this one here, take that body out. It is, de it is decaying a little bit. That body is actually decaying a little bit. Uh, it's not doing it very fast, but it is decaying. Right, this one, ooh, <gasps> that one there. That is a most wonderful body, that one is. Come down, grab you. You can go up here and go on to autopsy and actually no, I know what I'll do. I'll take our body off. This one doesn't matter. That one can just stay there on the floor. It doesn't matter if it goes rotten or not. This one, though, this one does matter. Now, I've been advised that it's a good idea not to have any red skulls over in the graveyard, if at all possible. So if I take that one, it's going to add a red skull. If I just take the blood and the fat, I will have a six skull all white body. Which is about the best that we can do at the moment. Now, you do get the embalming, but there, that's like perfect, that is. Six whites. That is absolutely perfect. But apparently, there's, there is a reason that we're not going to want any red skulls in the graveyard. Now, I didn't realize that this would even be a thing, but apparently, it is a thing. So, we're going to have to dig up quite a lot of bodies because there's quite a lot of the bodies that we've got here that do have red skulls. And I mean, a lot of them do have red skulls. I'll tell you what, yeah, let's let's just do that a minute and we'll dig out a couple of these that they're almost dug out, but not quite. There. Take you out. Right, I'm not enough energy for that. Okay, we'll leave, we'll leave that. I'm not going to worry about any more. And I'm still holding on to the faith at the moment as well. Um, Snake will be back at some point and I do need to spend five faith on him. He's dead. Well, he, he will have just gone home now, but he turns... Well, it was yesterday. And then we've got the the um, the guy up on Witch Hill. He's turning up today. So we've got to worry about him. And then we've got the astrologer tomorrow. I don't want to see either of them. We've just got to remember the prayer day. That's the only important one for us at the moment. Remember prayer day and keep doing the red. So now I've come all the way back over here. What do I want to do next? River sand. That's where we want to go next. We're going to go and grab a load of river sand. Although... Now that I've said that, I'm actually thinking that we might want to go and get a load more stone. i got stone here. I've got 42 pieces. Well, 42 is probably enough. That's, that'll probably keep us going. Let's go and get some river sand. Big pile of river sand right there. How quickly do we pick this stuff up? Oh, that's green. Why are you not picking any more up? There we go. Right, well, you, at least we pick it up quite quickly. We get ten, uh, five to a time, which is most excellent. I am pleased about that. And then we'll put a load of it. We'll put it going in the furnace, and that will actually generate us some red when it's in the furnace. It's just whether it's going to generate us anything else elsewhere. I mean, this is good. This is really good. Let's get one more lot, shall we? Go on, there we go. Okay, we've got a load of river sand now. And we'll go and get a few more stones. Because the stones are right there. So we'll we'll harvest a couple more of these a minute. Uh, grab you. That'll get us a few. There. So there's a piece. And we've got another piece down here. I can also go and grab some of the honey from that beehive right there. Which is another good thing to get. Just get that bit. And then have a look here. Uh, right. That's 138. If I take this one and one more. Up here. Then I can also get that beehive. Harvest it. So we get anything useful from there. A bee. It's mostly what I want is a bee. But I'm pretty sure they actually take quite a bit of... Ex yeah, we get the honey there. And you look in the technologies. Farming and... Na oh, no, I can. I can gather bees now. Right. I can't make the beehives yet. And that requires another 30. But I do have a very small chance of getting a bee from the natural beehives. And that's going to, it, it is going to help us out. In the long run, it's going to help us out. Whether it's going to help us out very much at the moment, I don't really know. I think we just want lots more cash at the moment. Don't cut you down. Don't do that. Right, 141. So we've got nine more to go. Then I'll be able to get the the, the uh, stone cups of two. And we'll then start to be able to make the much better quality gravestones, which I'm going to be scattering all over the graveyard. Oh, no, I want to go over here. This is where I want to go. I want to go into you, and I want to go to glass. Uh, ooh, right, water. Get some water out of that well a minute. Grab 
that one there. I'm going to get two lots of this and then I'll harvest both of them. And again. Right. Then we go into a bag and we go character like that and use. Use that one as well. That's giving me 40 water, which I'm just going to dump in here like that. So we've got 50 water and there's 50 sand there. The rest of it we'll hold on to for a minute. We go over to this one and then we can go to glass. I can put 25 in here at the moment. There, so it's going to use up 25 of the water. We've got another body down there, so we'll go and quickly grab that one and do something with it. One of them needs to go on a pallet. One of them can just be dumped on the floor. And we're not going to get any more for a minute either. See that one up there? It's started to deteriorate very rapidly. Let's take a look. We've got another near-perfect body. See, this one is down to 97% already. But that one's really good. I'm going to leave that one there. So we're not going to get any more bodies. I mean, we've got no carrots here for a second anyway. You know what? I think I'm going to deal with this one now. Nighttime is nearly upon us, but nighttime is not upon us yet. So I'm going to take that one. I don't have any more carrots out for the donkey, so he's not going to bring any more over until such time as we finish. Uh, until such time as we put more carrots out. So we just very quickly take this one here and we do that. I could take one bone out as well. Not enough energy. Right, let's let's have a sandwich right next to him like this, and then we can <laughs> we can finish. I can take that one out as well. And that doesn't actually change anything. Let's so remove that one there. There we go. And have a look. See, we've still got three and three. So then we can take this body. And then we start heading off towards the graveyard. So this is going to be another one that is going to boost the quality of the graveyard up yet again. We've got a lot of graves that we're going to need to be putting some stuff on. Let's put you down there. And then dig this one all the way out. And then I'll be able to fill that one back in again. We go up to you. Dump you in there and then fill you back over again. We've now got a zero quality grave and another burial certificate. I'm going to go home to bed and then I've just got to worry about... Where's my XP? I should show me my XP. I've got to look in technologies over here. 141. We've got nine more to get. I think we get one red for every piece of glass that is made. And we've got 25 pieces of glass that are busy cooking in the cooker over there. See? There we go. So let's go and get some sleep, and we get some more free red XP while we sleep. How much do we... Oh, we got at least three there. It makes it 145. That one's got a little ways to go. We'll leave that one. Let's go and have a look in here. And I want to leave the glass behind. Then I want to go back in... Oh, no, no, no. I don't have anything in here anymore. I took it all over to the churchyard where it belongs. So we'll leave the honey there. But then these items, we're going to go over to the church a minute... And we'll put this stuff in there where it belongs. And then the other bodies that are in the morgue at the moment, we can leave them where they are. Oh, he comes over here every night as well, doesn't he? Well, I think he does. You know, I'm not actually 100% sure if he does come over here every night. So we'll leave that stuff all in there. Uh, is there anything else on it? Nope, 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 nope. Although, let's just take that one with us because we're going to be going into the church very soon to deal with that. All i got to do now is make five more red items, which is just like a couple of sets of planks on the sawmill or something like that. Plus, there's going to be some glass now ready to heart, to pick up. I'm sure it's got, there's one. There's one right there. If I chop this tree down here a minute, that's going to be another one, isn't it? Oh, no, that's green. I get one for, I, I get red for the stump, though. So we take that one, and then, oh, no, steady. There we go. Bring you over there and put you on there, and drop you down there like that, and then go back to this one, and I think we'll go for flitches, because we don't have very many of those. So we'll slice through these very quick. Six flitches. Oh, that's just, yeah, but it, it's okay. There we go. There is 150 reds. That's what I'm waiting for. Leave that stick behind as well. And then I want to go in here. I want to go to technologies. I want to go to building. And go up here. And there it is. 70 green, 50 blue, and 150 red. Oh, yeah. Definitely worth it. 10 more red. I've already got, I've got those other bits when we get the precious metals for next time we go up after all of that sort of stuff. Now, I need... 
Oh, actually, can I upgrade this one down here? Is that a thing that I can do? Let's have a look at you. Nope. Nope. Uh, I didn't know I could do a polished brick on here. That's just, that's just the ordinary stone cutter. I'm going to actually remove the ordinary stone cutter. I might want to like a chest or something down there. But no, stone cutter two. I need 18 nails for that. And, well, with the flitches and everything else, that's fine. So let's put that one there for removal. 18 nails. Where's all my nails gone? Oh, uh, 16, 24. Let's, let's do five lots. We've got 40 nails here on the way. Make all of these. Plus, there's going to be a load more red, uh, one, one red each time. But still, it's, it's still more red. We get all of them. Yeah, and there's that one. Uh, one more. Right. There's all our nails. Now, let's have a look down here. This one I'm going to remove. Kablooey. Seriously, not enough? All right, let's let's have a couple of loaves of bread. And then we can do this. All of that stuff. We've got a load of metal scrap there. A couple of flitches came back. I'm going to take that and I'm going to dump the metal scrap in there for now. Plus the flitches. And also the nails. I'll leave them all behind. And then we're going to go into building and we go all the way down and we go to stone cutter 2. So this one, I can put that one in there if I want to. I don't really think I need to. I think we'll spread them out a little bit. Let's put that one over there. So then we're not like all crowded and cramped in and we can work a little more comfortably. I, that was a bit of a mistake I made in the alpha, I think, was squeezing the stuff up just a little bit too tightly. And it was useful having it squeezed up like that, but it, it wasn't great. Okay, so stone cross there. And that one, and that one. I've I've researched all of those. I've researched all four of them. So we've got there. Stone cross there. That'll get me those uh, gravestone two. Right, well, the stone cross. Uh. Oh, no, that's what I get from them. This is what i got to put in to be able to make these items. So it's gravestone two gives three. The stone cross gives three. So I need some polished stones to do that. I also need the polished stones for the grave fence two. Oh, no, that's a regular stone cross. Gives three. This stone cross two gives four. And then we've got a stone plinth as well. But then you've got a carved piece of stone for that one. That's, that's quite a bit to make that one. Stone cross two adds four to the grave. And then... So we need polished stones. Three of them to make that one. Stone plinth is quite a bit to make as well. The gravestone there, that gives three. And then the, the fence gives three. Hmm. Right. Polished brick of stone. I can't make multiple. Oh, I see. Right. If you use the chisel, you can't make multiples. So I can do a carved piece of stone. That has to take faith, which is a bit unfortunate because I don't have very much of that at the moment. So let me just make one of these a second. There. And that picks up the chisel again. And then we can make another one. And uh, it does make fairly quickly. I'm just wondering if the polishing paste uses quite so many. And I can. The polishing paste shouldn't be that difficult because I do have a thing of oil that I can go and get. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm getting everything. I'll make the polish. You look at this. Look at that. That's one of everything, I think. That's pretty cool, that is. Okay, I like that. Then we go to this one, and I can now do the stone crawl. The stone plinth requires that carved piece of stone, which requires the faith. So I can't do the stone plinth, uh, but the stone cross there, that takes three of them. That's quite a sort of expensive one to make, but I like the idea of having three or four of those around and not just all the same. I don't want all of my graveyard to look identical. So I'm going to make a few more of these. We'll keep doing this until I've used up the chisel. Or, well, he says we're going to keep doing this, but what he actually means is that we're going to just grab that lot as well. And we're going to look in here. I'm going to dump that. And then I'm going to go to bed. And then I'm going to go and say a prayer. This is prayer time. I was just thinking I should probably, every time I go near the church at least, pop it, just stick my head in the door and see if there is anybody waiting for confession because that earns us a little bit of extra faith here and there, doesn't it? Um, that does seem like it would be a rather prudent idea. I did... No, the, the body, the two bodies that are in there, we're going to cremate them. We're not going to worry about them in the graveyard. So, churchyard quality 27. Do I want to put... I've got nothing there. 
It's whether I want to like try and no, I'm not. I'm not going to try and make anything extra. Let's not. Let's not try anything fancy. We don't have anybody waiting for confession or anything like that. Let's just go straight up here, do the sermon, and then we can worry about getting a load of extra stuff from people next week after we've done the sermon. So I'd like to say some words. Our church is great. I preferred the "May the force be with you" bit that he said at the very beginning. That was quite good. He should do. He should do that more often. It's my opinion. Oh, holy man. I think you should do that more often. Right. Okay, nice. We've got six faith down there. And then everybody goes piling out. And they pile a load of money in there. So we've got 27 on the graveyard quality. Which I can't remember how much it does give us. There we go. Run down here. And one silver and eight copper. That is enough to buy another whetstone. That's what we wanted. Right. Let me go back this way. And see what I've got for studying. I'm sure I got. I mean, I. She's just thinking. Maybe I should keep the faith this time. I got six there. That that's. Let's leave it. Let's not study. I mean, I can either give five faith to the dude right here, or I can ignore him for now, and instead I can go back to here. And I can make three of the fancy stones. Get those there. Yeah, go on here. And I should have brought the stuff with me. But no, I can make three fancy stones here. The carved piece of stone. These take quite... No, I can't not make three. I can make two of them. So make one there. And I'll make another one there. And that'll use up the other three pieces of faith. There we go. And now. I can make the polished brick of stone. I've still got the chisel for doing that. And then if we look down here, so I've got two of these, which means I can make two stone plinths. Plinths? No, I can uh, No, that needs two of those, so I need another polished brick of stone. Because I use... Yeah, I used up a few, so I need to make some more of them. Yeah. I'm going to keep doing this with the chisel, because once the chisel's done, then I'm going to make some uh, polishing paste. I think the chisel uses 5% each time. There, yeah, right. The chisel's now gone. So I want to make polishing paste, which I make in here. I need that oil. The oil we, you can craft at the vine press. I know it does say that, but you can also go... We've got some um, containers of oil, and they are over in the church. Yes, they are. Let me run and get that a minute. Somebody did say to me that you can do more than one prayer in a day, or you used to be able to in the alpha. I don't think you can now. We are going to stick our head up above the door, up above the, the thing right there in just a second. I'll go over here, and I'm going to take that oil right there. I'll leave the rest. We'll come back to doing the rest. And then we go up this way, and we'll just stick our head up and see if we've got anybody here. For, no, nobody there for confession. Oh, we may as well try this. I don't think you can. I think it is... Yeah, it's literally just once per day now. You don't get to do an additional one. They've, it is. Um, I don't actually remember seeing that at all in the alpha either. So, and maybe that was like in an earlier build. I'm not sure, but I definitely didn't see that in the alpha. There was no point that I was able to do two prayers in a single day. I'd very much like to hear if anybody else had that. But this was a comment that I got on an episode last week. I'm not sure when it was. Um... Yeah, apparently they were able to get two prayers in a single day. Uh, so, obviously, it's going to boost up your faith by quite a bit. And I thought, well, that would be really good. You know, get a load of extra faith. We'd be able to work it a bit faster. But no, it doesn't look like it's something that we're able to do at the moment. Uh, achievement unlock just red points. I don't know what that's got us, actually. Right, what I need to do to be able to get the oil is you go to seed oil like that. And then you use like that. And that allows you then to you pick up those but we don't have any river sand and we don't have any ceramic bowls so if we come down to here we've got well we can make ceramic bowls so let's make uh 10 lots of those so that'll make 30 ceramic bowls how much is that going to get us quite a bit actually going okay. right well we'll run through a load of these then we're gonna have to run back over get more river sand so that we've got um, loads of it there to make some polishing paste and we'll make a big pile of polishing paste and then we can make a big pile of stones and we still haven't actually made a single gravestone for the graveyard yet we'll do it in the next episode I promise we will actually get there and we will make all of the ones that we want to make uh, I'm going to eat one of them I want to just finish that one off at least 
And let me get a little bit more water as well. If I get water from the well as well. Am I going to get another one out of this? I am. Just. Only just, though. Let's grab you. And then we can come over to here. And I want to use this. Use and use. There. Right. That's got 60 water. I'll drop that all in there. And the ceramic bowls can go in here as well. And I can't put anything else in there even if I wanted to. Okay. River sand next. I'm completely out of energy. And it's early in the morning. So I think what we'll do is I will take a load of bread like that. And then while I'm wandering over this way, I will have a little munch on the bread like that. Fill my energy all the way back up. And then I'm ready to go. You know, I come all the way over here. And then I walk all the way back again. I'm, I'm forgetting all about my teleport stone. So I'll try and remember to use that after I've done this. Because we've, we've got all the bowls. So this is literally the only thing we need now, and then we can start making the, um, the polishing tastes. Right, I have used up my shovel. I've got 80 pieces of sand, which is pretty good, I would say. We want to go sweet home Alabama over here, and while we're here, let's just go into this one and repair said shovel very quickly. Am I going to need to go and get my new whetstone yet? Nope, i still got some more life in it yet. 15% condition. Oh, we, we, actually, we'll still be able to make quite a few of them, I think. We're going to be all right for a little while. Right. Uh, there's the sand. Go and get that piece of glass there. And we want to go... There we go. Polishing paste. So we'll do this times 10, like that, there. It's going to use 10 of... Just literally one of each. Excellent. And that's going to allow us to make 10 of the polished stones. So I will make all 10 polished stones as well. We'll set all of those going. And we'll make them. We've got a huge pile of bread here. I'm probably going to want to grow some more wheat if I'm going to be able to get some more bread at some point fairly soon. Um, but I'm actually quite liking the fact that we can just stay here and keep doing this. And we don't have to be going to bed constantly because it does seem to allow the work to flow a little bit more simply. Come over to this one. And there, now I can make 10 polished bricks of stone. It requires the same amount of energy... And yes, it does require also a bit of energy to go and get the stuff, whereas, like, making the chisel wouldn't take anywhere near as much. Okay, I think I am going to go to... No, I'm not. I'm going to use three more pieces of bread. Because by using the three more, that's going to keep free up one slot in my bags. See? Very cunning plan there. Take those. Got everything coming out at the moment. What have we got? Oh, right. I definitely want that one. And then that one I can't get yet. But we're not far off. What else we got? We got the carpenter's bench there. Smithing. We got advanced smithing so we can go to the steel. Steel up there, which is the anvil too. Rules of burning weapons and armor. Be glad of that. We got the shovel too up here. This is the, like the steel stuff up there. Some very cool things there. Very, very cool. Ooh, right, bees, grapes. Gardening. So much stuff here that we're going to be glad of. Um, book writing. Oh, I can do the hard covers. And we've also got that bit up there. The smell of faith. The illumination of faith. The softness of faith. Oh, yeah, the better church bench. I reckon that's the one we... Yeah, let's go with that one. And we, can make a, we can make a better quality church then. It's only this bit down here that we haven't unlocked yet. And I uh, don't know if I need to... Maybe I need to get that surgery in order to be able to do it. We'll have a look at that in a bit. So we, we are... We've Now we've got the better quality church benches. We're going to be able to improve the quality of the church very, very quickly. But before we do that, I do want to work on improving the quality of the graveyard. Because I want to be getting more money from everything that we do. So I reckon it will do the great... We'll, we're going to stick with our original plan. We've got to do that graveyard first. If we can get that one done, then excellent. You know, we, we've done. There is all the glass now at long last. And I'm going to go and deposit that over here because I don't actually want it at the moment. Uh, let's leave that in there. And I haven't got any room to leave the river sand. I was going to leave the river sand behind, but I can't. That's not a thing that's going to be happening anytime soon. Okay. Go back over to here. And we'll work through these. So we, we're getting low. Well, I mean, we are getting a nice lot of stuff out of that, which is excellent. Take that one and finally that one. Right. 
Now, 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 we've got, uh, no, we don't want iron ore. So we've got the gravestones over here. So we've got two of those. I want to make two of those. That's the first thing we're going to do. That's going to take a load of um, complex iron parts as well as the, the, the fancy ones. But they're going to look good. And the idea is that I want to be able to spread out a few of the different items that we've got through the graveyard. Uh, so like this one here, that's a lot of polished stones. The grave fences, we're going to need quite a lot of those. I'm going to take five of those for now. Um, but we are, we're going to need a load more. I'm going to... I'm just going to use up bread. Rather than going back to sleep, I'm just going to stay here and keep working and use up the bread instead. I think it's, it's just going to make life easier for us if we do that. I do have to be careful, though. Because I'm going to run out of space in my bag. I don't have run out of space in my bag. So I need to now move this lot somewhere else. And I don't have any space in here. E oh, I've got one space. i got a single solitary slot. Where am I going to put it? i got the stone. i got all this stuff. Hmm. All right, let's leave let's leave that behind for a minute. And I can't really leave anything else behind. Can I can I go in here? Is there anything I can like dump out of here for a minute? Does no. There isn't really. I I I can't really like get rid of it in there. I mean, what I can do is I can make another trunk because I've got the stuff here to do it and I could bring that well. I don't want to bring it too close to that well. That's going to cause me some issues. Uh, I could put it up there, or I could put it out over here. I'm going to put it here, actually. If I put it fairly close to that one, it's going to make it a little bit easier for access as well. Let's come over there and just put you together. And then I can dump a load of stuff that I got carrying around straight into the chest right next to me here. Things like sand and, well, all, all of the stone. That can all go, not the bread, not the bread. We want to keep that. Uh... Oh, that's it. Right, I got space for five more items. This is two of them. And then I'm going to need to make a couple more. So if I've got five... i got five fences at the moment. Um, I made some of those, so we want to make some stone crosses and we want to make some of these. Right, I can make three stone... Oh, let's make the three stone crosses that we can make. That's going to be all of those that I can make. And so that's five kind of fancies. That we're going to have around the graveyard. I mean, uh, yeah, I'll use up the bread. We can always make more bread later. Uh, so we, we've got five fancies that we can put into the graveyard. And then we'll also have um, some just ordinary gravestones as well. So let's have a look. Oh, that's that's everything. Right. We've got, we're loaded up to the gunnels. We've got everything that we need. So we're not going to do it now. We've run, out of, we've run out of time. I have actually run out of time. So I'm going to go back to bed. And then... When we come back in our next episode, we will carry on with this. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.